Over the past two years, as I've watched our city's momentum falter, I've also listened closely to the citizens and the community leaders who have asked me to do something about it. They say that city leadership is no longer creating solutions. It's just coasting on the initiatives set in motion by Mayors Castro and Mayor Hartberger. Under Mayor Ivy Taylor, our city has stopped rising. And so after much thought and consideration, I have accepted that challenge. And so I'm declaring my candidacy and asking for your vote in the May 6, 2017 mayoral election. But here's the facts. Here are the facts. In the last two years, violent crime has skyrocketed. We've lost stature that we seek and the jobs that we seek to uh, cities like Austin, Houston, and Dallas. But we lead in categories like family violence, drunk driving, and low-wage jobs. Mayor Taylor says those are sound bites, cutting services to children, wasting millions on a stadium, giving in on contracts and going $20 million over budget in five years. Those are not sound bites. Those are bad decisions. We need bold action, and we need to take our energy and our spirit and our talent together and build the city you deserve. This is what it's about. It's about listening to you in the city that you want San Antonio to become. I am running for mayor because I want to make San Antonio the city you deserve. We deserve a city government that spends your tax dollars judiciously and efficiently, not on boondoggle projects or behind closed doors without the bright light of public scrutiny. You deserve a city whose leaders are held to the highest ethical standards and are held accountable when they violate those standards. Not a city whose mayor retroactively pardons herself after knowingly violating our code of ethics. You deserve a city with visionary leadership that rises to meet the challenges of the future so that we can become the most successful city we know we can be. I'm running for mayor because the city you deserve is better than the one we have today, and it will take bold action to get there. We will prioritize vocational training, small business, and entrepreneurship cultivating the jobs of the future in key industries, and long-term sustainability for the next generation. We'll create... We will create pathways to careers and not simply jobs. Public schools will once again, public school districts, will be our partners. They will not be forgotten. We are going to restore this city's momentum a big picture transportation reform agenda that addresses both needed maintenance and multimodal connectivity. Because we do not have to sacrifice one for the other. No more excuses. We will execute a transportation plan that will be ambitious, citizen driven, and voter approved. We will get your city moving again, San Antonio. And you can keep counting on me, as Jonah will, to build on San Antonio's quality of life by fighting for smarter development and embracing our heritage through art, through history, and cultural initiatives. We will expand green space, Bonnie, and will achieve long-term water security through policies that are affordable, that are fiscally responsible, and that are environmentally responsible. Because... You don't have to sacrifice one for the other. I want more of us to be able to say, I love it here, and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. And we will create a housing policy that is comprehensive, that is equitable, and that respects all residents in every corner of this city. Your city will listen to you again. As your next mayor, we will build upon the efforts I led to open meetings and create a new standard of government transparency, accountability, responsibility, and accessibility. My plan will recognize that a strong city is an engaged city, and that starts with unimpeachable integrity and public trust back backed with ethics rules that have real teeth. We will restore leadership you can trust, and that is the city you deserve. They're calling me the centrist the independent, someone who doesn't go along to get along. Well, you know what? They're right. And I embrace that. 
and so does my record. When there is a vote that's good for San Antonio, I will fight for it without apology. And when it's not good for San Antonio, I will oppose it on its merits, not on party lines and not through special interests. That's the right thing to do. We deserve a mayor who does not need to be pressured into doing the right thing. So thank you to all of you for being here to celebrate with us. This is a celebration. We wanted it to be like, kind of like a birthday party. Um, my son Jonah, as you have heard many times, is my true north, as I'm sure most likely your kids are for you if you have them. When I work, my horizon is his future, is the future of all of our children. So let me be clear. The city you deserve is within our reach. It's right there for the taking, and all we need is strong, bold leadership and initiative in coming together as a community to make it happen. So I ask you to please join us. This is a long and fruitful journey. It will be a lot of hard work, but there are bright days ahead. And I'm asking for your vote for Mayor of San Antonio in May 2017. Thank you very much.